This is Neil Ratna Rock Doc here on WDST Radio Woodstock with another episode of This Week in Rock with support from Transcendental and my friend, the amazing dentist and rock star Bruce Milner. Visit Transcendental, his stunning new office at 2 Maverick Road on the corner of Maverick Road and Route 375. On July 13th, 1985, Live Aid, a benefit concert organized by Bob Geldof and Midjur to raise funds for relief of the famine in Ethiopia, was held simultaneously at Wembley Stadium in London and John F. Kennedy Stadium in Philadelphia. The concert was conceived as a follow-up to the successful charity single, Do They Know It's Christmas, which was also the brainchild of Geldof and Yur. And with an estimated audience of 1.9 billion people in 150 nations, which represented almost 40% of the world's population, Live Aid was one of the largest television broadcasts of all time. An incredible array of the top rock stars of the day gathered on both sides of the Atlantic and included Bob Dylan, Mick Jagger, and Paul McCartney, as well as Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, David Bowie, Eric Clapton, a Led Zeppelin reunion, their first since the death of John Bonham, Tom Petty, Santana, and many more. One of the most evocative things in the show was a CBS News video introduced by David Bowie, showing the Ethiopian famine while playing the Cars song Drive. Bowie had seen the clip on TV and insisted to the promoters that it had to be included. The show had many highlights. However, it was Queen's 21-minute performance that was voted the greatest live performance in the history of rock in a 2005 industry poll of more than 60 artists, journalists, and music industry executives. And as Queen guitarist Brian May relates, it was a very special day for the band as well. Bob was pulling out all the stops, you know, and um, yeah, God bless him. Yeah, he just maneuvered everybody into place. But it was for the, the right reasons. Yeah, yeah, he was doing similar things to us, ringing us up and saying, you got to do it, you got to do it, you can't wake up the next morning, and etc., etc. And um, you got to be with us, etc. Um, yeah, Live Aid stirs up memories, of course, for me with Quo, because we sat in the, in the Royal Box with Charles and Diana and Bob Geldof and David Bowie and a few other people and watched Quo open the whole day doing rocking all over the world uh, and I've still got pictures of it uh, and it was a great moment it really was an amazing moment because Geldof had pulled it off and there was the audience packed and this thing was actually happening and as we know the money actually did get to Africa and we all felt very um, proud to be part of that it was a unique moment in time Live Aid I don't think there's ever been anything quite like that okay let's listen from Live Aid Queen and Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> 